hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is esther and this is qs fashion up in today's story i'm going to be teaching you how to make a hoodie for a child less than six months so guys let's get started the first thing i'm going to do is to measure the length this is our starting line i'm working with the length of 13 inches so i'm going to mark the length 13 inches so i'll take my ruler and draw a straight line here like this so I'll mark the shoulder, I'm working with the shoulder of 8 inches, 8 divided by 4, that's, sorry, 8 divided by 2, that's 4, plus half an inch for similar, that's 4 and half. So, so this is it. Yeah. So, I'm working with the neck, I'm drafting both the front and the back together. So, I'm working with the neck of, neck depth, neck of two inches neck depth for the back is one inch while the neck depth for the front is two and a half inches so i'll take my ruler and connect it like this so connect it like this so my fresh curve i'll go ahead and connect the neckline like this this for the back and this is for the front, like this. So, so I'll go down by half an inch for shoulder slope, like this. I'll connect to the neckline, like this. So for our arm, I'll go down by four inches, like this. So I'll draw a straight line here. Straight line here like this. So I'll go ahead and look for the midpoint of this line, show of this ample that's three inches. So I'll connect it for the ample for the back. This is the back ample for the front ample. I'm going to come in by half an inch like this and draw it like this. This is the front arm. Sorry. Connect to this one like this. So, for the body, I'm working with 20 inches for the bust. 20 inches divided by 4, that's 5 inches. Then I'm adding 1 inch for ease allowance. It's not going to be fitted, that's 6 inches. And I'm adding 1 inches for seam allowance, that's 7 inches. So, I'll mark 7 inches all the way. To the M line like this. So I'll go ahead and connect my line like this. So this is it. So this is the the back neckline and the front neckline. Hope you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the back first. First, cut out the back first. My face. Then I'll cut out the front too. After placing it on my fabric and cut it out, I'll cut it out. When I'm done cutting the back. Remember to cut on fold. That means you fold your fabric into before placing it on it and cutting it out. When I place it on my fabric, I'll cut out the back and the front. Then I'll come back and show you the next thing to do. I'm drafting the sleeve. So this is the starting point, starting line. So I'm going to mark three, three and a half inches here. Then I'm adding one inch um, uh, ease allowance. Then one inch for seam allowance, that's five and a half inches. You know, the sleeve is not going to be too fitted. It's not going to be fitted. So this five and a half inches, I'll look for the midpoint. That's 2.75 inches. So I'll come down by two and a half inches like this. So I'm going to connect the lines. Watch me closely from this midpoint like this, like this my free hand so i come to the sleeve length i'm working with here is nine inches 
so i'm going to mark the nine inches i'm still going to add a a band to the wrist so automatically that will extend the wrist the the sleeve length so the wrist i'm working with is actually five inches so five divided by two that's um 2.5 inches but i'm going to add one inch for ease and one inch for seam allowance that's 4.5 inches all together so i'll mark 4.5 like this so i'll take my ruler and connect the line from here so i'm going to cut it out i just cut it out so this is our sleeve remember to always cut on fold when you are cutting it on your fabric, fold your fabric into two and place your sleeve on it and cut it out and fold. So this is the sleeve I'm going to be using for it. So guys, for the for the hood, I'm making use of the length of nine inches length. So this is the starting point. So at this point, this this is going to be on fold while you are cutting on your fabric. So at this point, I'll come here and take 6 to 6.5 inches, but I'm going to use 6 inches here. This part, 6 inches. So I'll come down here and take 8 inches like this. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this line. Watch me closely like this. mix up this way hope you can see connect it sorry my own might not be straight because i'm using my free hand let's go ahead and connect it to this point so once you are done connecting it you come in here and come in by one inch like this from this part here then go ahead and connect it like this to this part like this And cut it out so this is the wood while you are cutting it on your fabric if you are cutting it on fold when you are done cutting you slash it open like you can see me cutting here this is the hood i cut it out i want to say something if you're cutting on fold when you are done cutting it you have to slash it open like this open it this way but if you are cutting it one one like this you're going to cut four pieces two for the lining two for the main fabric and this is the wristband i remember i said we are working with the wrist of five inches five divided by two that's that's and uh, 2.5 inches so but i added one inch for seam allowance look at it this is six inches the reason is that i'm going to put it together this this is five inches what I needed is actually two inches. I'll put it together like this and stitch so it will remain two and a half inches. Then fold it into you understand. So, guys, I will go ahead and cut out on my fabric. I already cut them out of my fabric. This is the, the wood, this is lining, this is the main uh, cap, this is the two sleeve, this is the body of the cap. I'm using this for the band, the wristband. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead to the sewing of this cap. For this, I will stitch it this way with half an inch. I hope you can see half an inch this way, all the way. I will stop here, half an inch. I will do the same thing to this one, half an inch from here to this part. And I will stop. Then I will join right side, facing right side. I will join the shoulders together like this. By the time I'm done joining the shoulder, this way then i will join this wrist like this with half an inch half an inch so i'll come back and show you the next thing to do after joining the shoulder i will hold the 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 side i'll join the side by half an inch or one inch i left one inch i will join it i'll come and show you the next thing to do so guys i've gone ahead to join the shoulder i've joined the two hood together so and also the band so what i'm going to do is to flip this both of them right side facing right side like this. So I'll go ahead and stitch it, join it together from this point all the way to the side. So I'll do that. Then this, I'll join the sleeve to the to this part like this. 
When I'm done doing that, I'll come back and show you the next to do. So I've gone ahead to attach the sleeve to it. Look at it, and I also add the side. This is I also overlock the raw edges so that it will be neat. So and also the hoodie, I've joined both together. This is it. It's looking so neat, and also the wristband. This is it. Now the next thing is to measure what you have at this wrist like this. That is what will determine the length of the the band that will be here. So here I have 13 inches, 13 divided by 2, that's um, 26. So any measurement you have, you subtract 3 inches. So I'm going to subtract 3 inches from this 26, that's 20. I will be left with 23 inches. So I went ahead to cut this band. This is 23 inches plus 1 inches, that's 24 inches. Look at it. 24 inches like this. This is 12. So I already folded half inches. You now stitch half inches for the allowance for the side. So you have something like this. This is 5 inches. 5 inches by 24 inches. So after folding, you have something like this. Like this. So I'm going to pin it to this part and I use my pin to secure it. Remember this part is smaller than the normal part, this part, this band is smaller. So what you do is while you are stitching, you stretch, you stretch it. That's what will give us that gather effect at the end of it. You stretch it like this and you stitch, you would be the same thing to the, the, sleeve like this right side fitting right side insert it then you stretch it while you are sewing it remember it is smaller than it this sleeve is bigger so while you are sewing it you stretch you stretch and you sew it together so after that the last thing is to attach the hood to it so you flip it this way and you place your make sure you notch the midpoint of this hood like this notch the midpoint and also notch the midpoint of this back like this hope you can see what i'm doing so like this so start attaching it this way from this part like this you attach it to the front to the front and do the same thing to the front once i'm done with all this i'll come back and show us the final look of our wood so friends, this is the final look of our hoodie. It's looking so beautiful. Attached the band, wristband, waistband, and the hoodie. So look at it. The inside is very neat. Look at the back. Very, very neat. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload new video. My name is Esther. This is QS Fashion Hub. Don't stop learning. Keep learning. See you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye. Look at it. Very beautiful. Look at it, guys. Try it out. Try it out. Bye.